going on everyone? I'm coming to you guys at 6.34 in the morning as I am making my trip down to North Carolina. It is Saturday, so I'm not sure when you guys will be seeing this. Might be seeing this on a Friday. I'm backed up a little bit on videos, but I'm not sure if you guys can tell. It's snowy now, and the roads, yes, they have snow on them. So this is a little public service announcement on how to drive in the snow because I've already seen it. I'm like 10 minutes away from the house, and they're out in force with the NDFs. So pretty much what you do when you drive in the snow is you stay in your lane. As you guys can see, I'm in the passing lane, so I'm just gonna stay here because there's no need for me to get over. And normally, which it hasn't happened yet, but there's snow in the middle of the road, like in between lanes, and when people tend to change lanes, they seem to either go what? Or just lose all sense and skill of driving. So if you just stay in your lane, you're good to go. You ain't got nothing to worry about. The other thing is, which if you point down here, you can't see my feet because it's 6.30 in the morning, if you drive with your big toe. Don't be a knucklehead. Don't go what? When everyone's leaving a stoplight and they're spinning tires, they're like, oh, I'll just give it more gas. Like, okay, that is definitely not it. <laughs> and then finally, I'd say the most important thing is don't brake like it's 95 degrees in the dead of summer because uh, for some reason snow is, you know, makes cars slide. I don't know why, but uh, when you stab on brakes at the last second, you normally toast, and that's where you start railing everyone else. So right now, I've gotten out of the town area, if you want to call that, and uh, as you guys can see, the roads aren't really snow covered, but uh, they're definitely gross, so now my my 22 by 12s are literally gonna turn my truck into a chocolate milkshake, uh, which I'm extremely excited about because, you know, it's, it's what I live for, turning my white truck brown. Um, Pennsylvania roads are like booty already. I've already mentioned this before in videos. When you add snow and slush and all this bullshit on top of it, it honestly takes it to a whole nother level. So as you guys can see here, like half of my lane is like snow covered, but really, it doesn't affect me unless I'm going what or stabbing on brakes like half of the NDFs that are out in force on a day like today. My truck is literally brown at this point. It is way too early for this shit. 638, man. But back on the road we go, back down to North, North Carolina. Got my tire pressure lights on because it's cold out. But yeah, it's been, uh, it was like 50, it's 15 degrees out right now. It's been cold the whole time I've been up here. I'm ready for some warmer weather. So on the road we go. All right, so now you guys can really get a look at what's going on out here and we've reached a, uh, a crossroads here to make a decision. We're behind a plow truck, but it's not really enough to plow. He's making a mess, he's throwing cinders down, so I think we'll go around, but he's just like, I can't see shit right now. So I decided to hold a camera while I drive. Actually, you could see better through the camera than you can what's going on here. Now, these PennDOT trucks, they have like big side plows on too, so we have to try to avoid just hitting that, just shooting sparks out. Literally nothing to plow right now. Pennsylvania at its finest. He is just scraping pavement. Um, low life or no life. That was a call there. If there was, if there is like a decent amount of snow, hanging out behind one of those is like a must, but as you can see here, this lane is pretty dry. That lane, which has less traffic, which I've been riding in, um, a little bit more snow covered, but as long as the snow can stay off where the tires go, uh, we will be all right making our way. All right, I pulled over to get a drink, but just to give you guys an idea of what the truck looks like. <laughs> Dude, it is a mess right now, so. We're going to uh, keep driving here. I think I'm gonna throw in four wheel drive just to get back up to the highway. The highway seems a little bit clearer, but we are going to Keep on trucking, it's really starting to come down now, so if we can just get moving a little bit further, I think we should be all right. Oh. 
All right, so it's getting a little bit snowier out. I'm not really too excited about it. Uh, I'm trying to keep moving here. I was just talking to my mom, and I guess she was looking at the radar. And it, I, I figured, you know, if you get to Harrisburg, it's pretty south, that it should be all right. It should lighten up. But she said it might be snowing all the way down to Maryland, so I don't know how I feel about that. But as you can see, the snow is starting to stick a little bit more. When more cars are driving on it, it's it's really not too bad, but as soon as people start slowing down, and honestly, I think it's like um, if, if more people were driving, it would definitely be a little bit more clear. You can see everyone rides in this lane. It's not bad at all. No one really rides in the passing lane. Um, for I don't know what what reason. I feel like everyone should just be split up and give each other a little bit more room, but be driving in both lanes, and they'd both be clear. But um, the trucks seem to be having an issue right now. I'm still in two-wheel drive. I haven't put in four-wheel drive yet, and I've been going like, you know, 60, 65-ish, and uh, I've been doing all right so far. Traffic's been uh, pretty light, but there are a couple knuckleheads out there that are just like flying, or I did notice a lot, like especially on like the side trips when I went to the gas station, there's a lot of people that are driving cars that don't have snow tires on it or all-terrain tires or anything like that, or they're front-wheel drive or like a rear-wheel drive, and they should not be out there um, because they have like no traction. They're driving sideways, and like, some people are just driving like five miles an hour and it's honestly ridiculous because for me I'm coming around a corner I'm going like 20 you know and then they're just sitting there it's almost like they're stopped and, and then you know like I was mentioned before getting on the brakes hard is where you start to slide and once you break traction that's where it's kind of tough so um, if you don't have a vehicle that can kind of get it done I really wouldn't like recommend doing it. After some traffic here, I promise I don't make this stuff up. I got a check engine light service, death fluid. Now, it's not even letting me check how much fluid I have. Normally, it gives you a percentage. Last time I looked, it was at 30% before I left the house, and I just put two and a half gallons, or I just put, what, I don't even know how much, two and a half gallons in it. So, uh, right before I came up here, normally that's pretty long. It, it's never come up where it just doesn't let you check it, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. Uh, so I guess I'm going to take it to a dealership and look like an idiot if they're like, oh, you're just low on death fluid. But there's a dealership right down the road. They take care of me. I've been here before because I'm in the Hershey area. When I was a golf pro, I used to work at the Hershey Country Club. Uh, but the roads have gotten shittier. I have been driving around in four high. Um, but I guess I got to go like 20 minutes out of the way, have them take a look at this. Uh, I got all of my shit in the back here, a Yeti, uh, my gimbal, my camera bag, everything like that. So I'm not like too pleased about all this, but there's really nothing I could do. It says I got 90 miles till it goes into limp mode, which I really don't want to, but I'd rather have it happen now where it's at least somewhere where I'm aware of the area, but we're going to go get it checked out, see what they have to say, and hopefully it's nothing big. I don't know if they're going to have to put it in regen. I got that stupid exhaust tip on the back, which like will catch fire if it goes into regen, but... Alright, so we're here. Travis is with us. <laughs> Travis picked me up because uh, I'm in Harrisburg and the truck to the dealership and the temperature sensor for the death fluid went out. So this is what I get for not deleting it. So I've been sitting there for a little while and uh, thanks to Travis, a local townie around here, he's uh, <laughs> taking me out to lunch. So um, my broken truck turned into a nice uh, mandate. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand years later. All right, guys. As you can see, we're back here. Cow back in action. Um, I don't have much to say. It was a long ass drive. Looks like Wes has mufflers for his car. <laughs> the West thing might be getting quieter in the future. But other than that, shit, man. Long drive. Took way longer than expected. Uh, we got some changes in the garage. So we'll be going over that shortly. We got a new vehicle here for the channel. We'll be going over that shortly. And uh, just to give you guys a kind of an understanding of what it's like with this thing and the weather, I don't think you guys realize how dirty this is. 
dude. Look at this. This is the entire truck is like this. The windows, you can't see shit out of the windows. The mirrors, this is, this is what it's like. I mean, the whole truck is just absolutely, I mean, well, as you can see, look at the front of it. That was a brutal trip. That was absolutely brutal. I mean, this truck is destroyed. Look at the rims. I mean, they're just like coated in salt. Mm, 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 mm. It even gets like in the bed now. So, uh, oh, we got some wood from Pennsylvania. Nice. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys saw what it's like to drive in some shitty weather. But other than that, uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.